Hey, how's it going? It's Keith Townsend, Principal of the CTO Advisor. And this beautiful location I've been in before is HPE's, I want to say San Jose HQ because HPE is moving to Houston and blah, blah, yeah. blah. Yeah, well, 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 we were in Houston and we wanted to visit the campus in Houston. It's also beautiful, but you'll hear all kind of cool background noises because we're uh, still 2021. And we would love to have done this in the beautiful EBC. If you're ever invited to check out the EBC in the San Jose uh, HQ office, it is beautiful. But in this sponsored interview, I have with me Chris Eiler, GM VP or VP and GM of HPE Green Lake Lighthouse. The HPE brand for lease will be very happy that I said that correctly. Yes, thank you, Keith. Chris, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's great to be with you. So, you know, we're going to dive right into this whole Green Lake Lighthouse conversation because I've been following Green Lake for a long time. Yep. And Green Lake has always been, you know, pretty kind of cloud adaptable, this pay as you go model, mm -hmm. HPE service as a everything. And the Lighthouse brand kind of threw me for a curve, if I got to be honest. If, I, if I'm an HPE customer, and I have HPE customers who bought Green Lake last year, now I look at Lighthouse and I'm asking, you know, Chris, what the heck? Did I buy the wrong thing? Well, first, Keith, you never buy the wrong thing from <laughs> HPE. So there's no way we're going to put our customers in that situation. The, the um, HPE Green Lake Lighthouse is, is an evolution, really, of our approach toward Green Lake and Green Lake services for our customers. The, um, you know, we've had a lot of success with, with Green Lake so far. Uh, you know, we've sort of established the market for a consumption-based ability for on-prem infrastructure. Uh, we've used it as a way to really provide a lot of flexibility in uh, customers and enterprises finding a way to solve their problems that aren't compatible with just putting it in a public cloud circumstance. Right. right? Uh, but they're also not interested in doing things exactly the way they always have. You know, progress, 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 right? So what, what the HPE GreenLake Lighthouse is, is an evolution of infrastructure from um, combinations and permutations, always different per customer, to a true HPE infrastructure platform that hosts GreenLake um, services, especially private cloud services, going forward. So but what we found talking to customers, well, first, if you read the research, and I'm sure, I mean, you are the research, right? But when you read the research, um, public cloud, tremendously hyperscale, tremendously successful, obviously. Right. Right. But um, they're still on the order of 70% of enterprise workloads have stayed put, right? And, and th there's reasons for that. But we still find customers thinking, I only have two choices. You know, do things the way I've always done things, which we're improving with right. GreenLake, right? Or do I have to go hyperscale, you know, and make some of the trade-offs of uniformity and, and so forth. With, with Lighthouse, we're able to sort of reject that false choice and say you have an opportunity for, and it's not just HPE GreenLake Lighthouse, it's HPE GreenLake Cloud Services hosted on HPE GreenLake Lighthouse. And now you have the power of a platform, meaning you can host multiple services simultaneously on a, on a HPE infrastructure platform, but we've engineered it to be able to host multiple services simultaneously, to have it be expandable by API from HPE um, GreenLake services. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's a platform underneath our platform. Our, All right, so as I look at the list of services, cloud services offered by GreenLake. And some of these things I have customers consuming, SAP HANA, VDI, et cetera. They've worked with HPE hand in hand to kind of design that underlying infrastructure, then get that offered as GreenLake as a service. Lighthouse takes a different approach. What is that? So when I buy Lighthouse or, or I subscribe to Lighthouse, what am I getting on premises exactly? You're getting, you're still getting HPE infrastructure on premises, right? You're getting HPE storage, HPE networking, HPE compute, mm -hmm. um, racked, cabled, uh, managed by GreenLake, running GreenLake services on top. Uh, if you're buying container-based services, we've got Esmeral um, packed inside. And I like to think of it, Keith, as a sort of a greatest hits package of um, 
of HPE infrastructure, but we're making it so that it's consumed just a little bit differently than you may have traditionally consumed. So when you're configuring a Green Lake Lighthouse, you're, you're, you start by configuring your service. You know, I, I want v, VMs as a service. Okay, how many? I need 5,000. 3,000 of them are going to be for, for um, virtual desktop, maybe, right? So a general uh, purpose pilot, like you know, what I typically yeah. see. Yeah, well, well general purpose is dangerous, right. um, but yes, right? Because nobody, because there's no such thing. There's no such thing as general purpose. <laughs> right? In enterprise, but, we like this. We like general purpose. We like high, the, you know, high CPU, high memory. The, the, there you go. The, yeah. There you go, right? So, so as our, um, you know, consultants work with our clients on configuring their services, the, um, you, you end up sizing your lighthouse, right? So if you need 5,000 VMs and you just say general purpose, um, okay, okay, you know, mm -hmm. but, but usually there's a deeper conversation right, well, that goes on. Well, like what I need, I need about 1,000. I'm not sure what they're going to be, but I need, you know, let, like I said, maybe 3,000 desktops supported. And so mm -hmm. we'll figure out, okay, what kind of VDI uh, configuration do you want to run on your Green Lake services? You know, so, or, you know, and it could, you know, it could be I any workload. I want to pause there. I want to pause there for a second here because you're, you know, I think cloud when you offer me the vision of Lighthouse, but yep. when you're talking about this consultant engagement, now I'm thinking, well, now do I have to spin up my IT infrastructure guys to figure out how much RAM, how many no. spindles, et cetera? Am I getting back no. into managing infrastructure? That's exactly what we're trying to um, eliminate the need to do, right? Um, we're, we're still using the world's, you know, world famous HP infrastructure, but you're configuring it based on the workload you want to run and depending on the nature of the conversation, the business outcome that you're in pursuit of, right? So I, I'm in, you know, maybe, maybe it's a workload conversation about VDI or maybe it's a more targeted workload conversation that says I need to support 5,000 users 20% less expensively than I have in the past or, oh my, you know, oh my goodness, no one's coming back to work yet. You know, there, there's so this is almost up. something that I can throw a business analyst at. So let's say yes. that, uh, you know, let's take the VDI instance. I've done VDI before and yep. and VDI is like this generically deceptive type thing. Like, it is. Is, it, is it 1,000 CAD users or is it 1,000 office users or is it just 1,000 users that are connecting to an SAP instance via a green screen? And do they all come to work at the same time, you know? Uh, because then all their systems turn on at the same time, or do they come to work at different times of the day? Yeah, it's very, it's it's deceptively complex. And so, from my perspective as a CIO, I can give a business analyst to this thing. My my engineer that's figuring out CI CD for uh, cloud native infrastructure can continue to focus on that while I'm dedicating the business analyst to the engagement with HPE Green Lake Lighthouse. And then our, well, in GreenLake cloud services writ large, mm -hmm. um, powered by, if you will, GreenLake, Light, Lighthouse. HP GreenLake Lighthouse. So, so the idea is, you know, this might sound a little odd um, as the leader of the HP GreenLake Lighthouse team, but it's okay with me if the conversation with the customer is not about Lighthouse. It's okay with me if the conversation's about the VDI requirement, or the database requirement, or the general purpose virtual machines, or I need Kubernetes spun up, and I need uh, 17 clusters, and a growth pattern of, of X or Y. If, if the conversation can be about what the customer wants to use their infrastructure for, and if we can give them a cloud experience alternative. So being able to have a conversation with the customer that brings the DNA of HPE and enterprise to a conversation that is about a cloud enablement of their IT department in support of a workload or a business outcome. This is our objective, right? So it's not, I want to sell you lighthouses. We want to talk to you about HPE GreenLake services in support of your business outcomes or your workload needs. And then what happens is we end up sizing the lighthouse and the lighthouse consists of modules so you can have a general purpose compute module or a, a memory centric compute module a storage a high performance a high performance storage module a um, scale out storage module. You know, we have a lot of assets that we, you know there's a greatest hits package inside this thing. yeah you as an infrastructure guy you're getting me excited 
Yeah. But let's 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 keep the conversation focused. I'm gonna but, ask you but, one But Keith, if you're a CIO, do you get excited anymore talking about which Nick? No, I don't. Right. No, they're, right. They're, they're cool. But they I don't cool. get excited. And, and and if you and I were having a uh, sales conversation right now, or a, or a consultant conversation about solving your business problem, um, uh, if you wanted to know, tell me what Nick you're using. We would still tell you, man. We we are rock stars when it comes to building servers especially for the enterprise, mm -hmm. right? We're just packaging it in a way that gives you that cloud experience without having to sacrifice that enterprise-centric design center. All right, Chris, one last question. And this is a sensitive topic, so I'm warning you. But the CTO advisor, and we ask the questions that <laughs> CTOs, CIOs want to know. This is not a new endeavor for HP. Like, I've remembered similar stories, maybe not as much at the business level, but there were HPE cloud solutions that I could put on premises. Mm -hmm. Those went away. Now we're talking about GreenLake Lighthouse and HPE GreenLake Cloud Services via Lighthouse. What's the difference? Like, what, what have you guys learned over the years? Keith, cloud has been around for what, 10, 15 years? Yep. You know, show, it's me a baby. A, show me a company that hasn't you know, that's on the exact same path that they were 15 years ago. You know, of course evolution is happening in every vendor's offering in the, and, in, and in terms of what customers require from their um, cloud environments. Yeah, so, what I built 10 years ago is now technical debt. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes it is, right? And, and same here. So I think that, um, that any vendor can look at their journey and we're proud of ours, right? And we've moved with our customer from step to step. Right now, what you see in HPE, and it starts at the top with Antonio Neri, our CEO, is um, a complete and utter commitment um, by this company to the GreenLake experience for our customers. Period, end of story. We continue to conduct uh, business the way we have and the way we always have with our customers, but we are listening to, to our install base. We are listening to the enterprise market, and they're saying, please give us a cloud experience with an enterprise point of view. And GreenLake is, is, is what we're all in on right now. So I, I don't know what to say, except um, we're confident that we've got this uh, measured. Chris, I appreciate you taking the time out to answer some tough questions. Yeah. This is a tough problem. And I, I think it's fair to say HPE is moving at the speed of the enterprise IT CIO. I think I was pretty tough. But if you don't think I asked Chris the right questions, you can DM me on Twitter. DMs are open at CTO Advisor. Talk to you next CTO Dose.